Here's another part of our conversation with the great Felix Cavallari. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. What's the craziest thing a fan's ever done? We used to have this, 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 this woman. We used to call her the bird lady. Okay. And she used to show up. She had no money. She used to show up wherever we worked, whenever we worked. And she showed up one day at my father's house. That was the craziest thing. <laughs> because she was, she was like a real, you know, like a hippie, you know. And she was not, you know, like she was dressed from the future. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? So when my father answered the door, I, he was speechless. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but we've had a lot of things like that. But you know, fortunately, mo- most of the uh, audience in those days didn't carry guns and were friendly. <laughs> did, did your dad get your your fame? Did he get it? Did he get what? Uh... Here's my father's famous word. My father was a dentist. You know, yeah. this guy came up to him one day and says, "Doctor Cavalier, do you?" Do you know how much soul your son has? And my father says, geez, I don't know, man. The only souls I have are on the bottom of my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he got it and he enjoyed it. But he had he he, he didn't really know what, what, what this was about. Yeah. I, I uh, was watching an interview of yours uh, last week where you talked about losing your mom as a teen and she wanted you to be a classical composer. Uh, a pianist, yeah. Pianist, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, so did she get it? I mean, you were young. But, I mean, did she get that that you could have? Uh, you think she could, she could have imagined what happened to you? Well, no, no, I don't. I don't think anybody could imagine what happened. But I mean, basically, what 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 she saw uh, was some musical talent, and the the only way that I mean she would uh, kind of manifest that would be through classical music, you know. So I, I took lessons for like eight years of my life, you know, which was. <laughs> You know, and, I, and I'm and I, I'm just, you know, I, I, I've, I've written this book and I, I wanted people to know. I mean, basically, it was her kind of tutelage and insistence that got me my musical education because, I, you know, I wanted to go out and play with my friends, you know, and uh, uh-uh, you're going to go to class. You're going to go. I did three lessons a week for eight years with with the school that she enrolled me in. And, and it really paid off. But classical you know, the, the, the difference with classical is that there's no freedom of movement. You know, basically you write what they, you play what they wrote 100 years ago or you're fired. <laughs> you know? So I, I wanted to create. That's what the clash came. It, it was just you know, I wanted to do some something that I thought of, you know. We'll have more from Felix Cavallari coming up in a few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. You want to donate to the channel at the very top of the description? There's a link where you can do that. Or you can buy a t-shirt. That helps the channel as well. We have t-shirts for Rock History Music, Rock History Book, and Rock History Canada. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.